2018 was an awesome year for gaming. There were so many amazing titles that were released that I haven't even begun to finish all the games that I've purchased. I know first world problems, I have too many games. But seriously, a lot of amazing games were released during last year. You're stupid! And I wanted to discuss some of the groundbreaking games that were released, as well as games that I'm looking forward to playing from last year. And that means that I haven't played them yet, but I know they're gonna be good. So let's talk about 2018. So you know that feeling you get when you finish a game and you're just incredibly sad that it's over? It's like saying goodbye to a good friend. That's how I feel about my favorite games of all time, Bioshock, The Last of Us, and Mass Effect 1 through 3. The only games that have come close to that in recent years were Horizon Zero Dawn and God of War. But this is 2018 we're talking about, so let's discuss God of War. Hands down, my favorite game of 2018 was God of War. I've talked about this game in two separate analysis videos, so if you want my analytical interpretation of this game, check out those vids. To avoid repeating myself, I'd just like to say one thing about this game. It's brilliant. It has a powerful story, challenging gameplay, stunning visuals, and an incredible soundtrack. But more importantly, this game knows that it had to evolve the character of Kratos to fit the times. This game gave layers to Kratos' character while still preserving his stoic, badass nature. I love this game. It truly is a piece of art. that I really enjoyed from 2018 was Spider-Man. Now, this game takes a lot of inspiration from the Batman Arkham series, and that's not a bad thing in my opinion. A lot of people mention this in their reviews, and I think that this game takes inspiration from the Arkham games, but it also does its own unique thing. Spider-Man definitely borrows from the Arkham games. Timing and strategy are crucial to a successful fight and button mashing is impossible. However, the web slinging makes the gameplay unique and interesting. You can use Spider-Man's abilities to pull in objects or enemies. The gameplay is multifaceted and always had me on my toes. I'm really enjoying this game and hope there will be more Spider-Man games in the near future. Another game that I really enjoyed from 2018 was Detroit Become Human. Was this game perfect? No, it had its fair share of David Cage-induced cringe. What are you doing? However, it proved one thing to the video game industry. Your decisions can indeed matter. How many times have video games promised that your choices will have an impact on the game and then broken that promise? Games like The Walking Dead, The Game, and Mass Effect 1-3, through although great games, didn't really allow your choices to matter. Many game companies argued that this was too difficult. There were too many variables. However, Quantic Dream time and time again has managed to make games where your choices have consequences. They even show you a map of all the possible consequences you missed at the end of each chapter just to show off. Okay, David Cage, we get it, you're smart. There are more than 40 possible endings to this game, by the way. 40. That's pretty impressive. My favorite Quantic Dream game is Beyond Two Souls. That game was powerful. It had an amazing story and very lovable main character. Detroit had some characters that irritated me, but I fell in love with it because of this guy. Connor embodied the heart of this game. He proved that machines were capable of having emotions and stealing all of our hearts. He evolved from a cookie cutter, do as you're told, hall monitor type to a Oh yes daddy! Okay, so that's pretty much all of the new games I played in 2018. I did play quite a few old games, including the best game of all time, Shenmue. You little punk! You looking for some of this? 
You stupid! Ah! Uh, you stupid! Ah! Uh. But unfortunately, there are so many games that I have to catch up on. I don't have time to play these games. I have a day job. I have papers to grade. Justin is a manure inspector. He always checks cow's poo to know whether the cow is sick or not. However, he never feels sad or bored. A cow's butt is so big and I feel excited when I touch them, thought Justin. Although everybody thinks this job is weird and boring, Justin doesn't mind at all. However, he had a good job but didn't have a girlfriend. He ran to the cow that he thought most beautiful and asked, Can you <laughs> can, can you marry me and let me touch your butt forever? But the cow didn't want to get together with him, so he had to get married with his left hand. However, there are some games that I haven't played, but I think I should talk about them too. Assassin's Creed Odyssey looks good. Okay, I haven't played it yet, but I want to, and that's saying something, because I gave up on Assassin's Creed games after the disaster that was Assassin's Creed 3. I like that the dialogue looks promising. I like that there's a lot of gay in it. It looks really gay, and I want to play this game and be gay. Also, I'm giving away a copy of this game because I have a PC copy, and I don't own a decent PC. If you want a chance to get it, join my Patreon before February. Red Dead. Everyone tells me this game is awesome and that the sequel is great, so I want to play it, and maybe I should do a Let's Play of the first hour or so. Let me know. So that's my list. Um, I hope this video didn't suck. I spent a lot of time on it, and um, basically what I'm trying to say is that I want to play more games. This video was probably really awkward. Or if it wasn't awkward, it's probably awkward now. Did you guys know that I broke my bed? Did you know that I broke my bed? I just broke my bed. And I'm now sleeping on the ground. My mattress is on the floor now. And uh, I'm wearing uh, pajama pants, exercise pants. I should go.